we're going to learn how to load and unload a lever action firearm adhering to all the universal safety rules and safety protocols. Now the firearm that we're using today is a Mossberg firearm and it works just like the Winchester Model 94. You can see where I've opened the action here. You can see where it has what looks like two barrels. The blower one is actually the tubular magazine where we're going to store the ammunition. And we want to check and make sure the caliber that we have. And this firearm is uh, a 3030 Winchester caliber. We check the side of the gun. And we check the ammunition to make sure that we've got the proper ammunition for this firearm. Next thing you know, on, on the lever action, you'll see that we load from the side of the gun. We have a loading ramp, which we'll show in greater detail in a moment. But the cartridges go in the feed ramp on the, on the right side of the rifle. Each round goes in one right after the other one and fits into that tubular magazine below the barrel that I was talking about a moment ago. This is the feed ramp. And as you can see, we're inserting the cartridges into the feed ramp, but we're not sticking them in all the way. The reason for this is that it holds the feed ramp open and makes it easier to get subsequent cartridges into the gun. In this demonstration, I'm going to uh, insert four cartridges into the rifle. It actually holds more than that, but you get the idea with four cartridges. After we get our last one in, we use our little finger to kind of push that last cartridge in and close the feed ramp. We work the action chambering the first round into the uh, into the gun. You can see there, working the action, it lifts the cartridge up, feed ramp up onto the gun, and you, as you closing the action, we'll put the uh, cartridge into the chamber. Then we have to reset the hammer, because you, as you can see, it cocks the gun at the same time as working the action. You have to be very, very careful here, because you do actually have to pull the trigger on the firearm, so be very careful, because if you don't, the gun will discharge on that live cartridge if you don't hold that hammer back and reset it very slowly. Now working the action again, it will uh, feed the ammunition out the top of the gun. In the uh, As you saw in the other demonstration, here's a little closer view of this. Uh, we're checking it after to make sure we got everything out of it. There's a closer view. And here again, is my other video, you can see where I'm catching the ammunition as it comes out of the gun. This prevents your ammunition from going onto the ground, getting dirty and fouled, or possibly losing it. Uh, it just makes it a lot safer. And if it's a spent casing, it's not that big a deal. You can just work the action much brisker. The casing will go flying out of the gun and get out of your way. But here we're using loaded ammunition, or dummy ammunition in this case. And we want to make sure that we have it available for the next time, so we try to catch the ammunition. This is how I teach my students to do. If it's live ammunition, uh, we use that to uh, we catch it so that we can be reused. After we're done, we visually and physically inspect the chamber to make sure that the gun is actually unloaded. And then we can close the action again, resetting the uh, hammer. And you can see right under my thumb there, behind the hammer is a slide, is a regular button safety. And thank you for watching.